Hello friends, welcome to Inside Text. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system. So uh, friends, continuing in the series about transformer testing. Today we are going to learn about transformer LV magnetizing valence test. What are various kinds of low voltage transformer testing as we have already seen them. So in today's video, we are going to learn about the sixth test that is LV magnetizing valence test. So we have also seen how to pre prepare transformer low voltage testing kit. You can get the links for this in the description box. These are the various materials that will be required for testing of the transformer. And this is how we will prepare a transformer low voltage testing kit. So now let's start today's test that is transformer LV magnetizing balance test. We'll remove all the fuse first. Okay. And uh, for today, we will perform this test on a 66 by 11 kV 15 MVA transformer that is having uh, delta star winding. Okay. So previously we have seen while doing HV magnetizing test, the HV terminals were connected to the HV bushings of the transformer and LV terminals were connected to the LV bushing side of the transformer. But today we are performing LV magnetizing balance test. So we have to remove the HV connections and we will connect these terminals. LV bushings will be connected to HV terminals. R, Y, B, phase, okay, and neutral. As you can see, LV bushings are connected to the HV terminals and we will completely disconnect this HV wires, right? Now, let us see at which step we will perform the tap position for which we will perform the test is step number 5. The reason being that in this kind of transformer, the OITC is generally on the HV side. Okay, and on the LV side, there is no OITC, there are no taps. So, on the LV side, when we are giving the voltage supply, we will be giving at the normal tap position of the transformer only. Now, as we know that this is a delta star kind of transformer, okay, so. Uh, we will prepare the table accordingly for measurement voltage will be applied on a single phase only because L, again LV side is a star winding if we were talking about a delta winding on the LV side then the voltage will be applied on between two phase but it as it is a star winding only so we will be applying on single phase and measuring it on all three phases Rn, Yn and Pn okay and we will measure the current through this phase also. This is just for reference. And similarly, we will apply y, y phase and then we will apply B phase. Okay. And one more thing. We have to strictly keep the HV windings open. Uh, no wire should be give, connected to this. The reason for this that the cables that we might be using may be for up to the insulation of 1 kV or 1.1 kV only. But when you are applying this 3 phase AC supply to this LV winding, okay, the voltage developed across this HV bushings will be about 1.5 kV. So that may damage your uh, cable insulations also. So it is uh, uh, very much uh, required that we do not provide any kind of cables on the HV side while performing the LV magnetizing balance test. Now we will start the measurement. Okay, we will connect the supply and we will provide the fuse between R phase and neutral and then we will measure the voltage. We will turn on the MCB. Now let us measure the voltage between R and neutral. So it is 247.20. 
Now we will measure between y and neutral. Okay. So that is 183.10. We'll note it down. And now we will move on to B phase. Sixty-eight point three zero, and that is also mentioned written over here. Now we will need a clip-on meter to measure the current. So we will measure current in our phase, and we are getting ninety-three point eight in milliamperes. Now the same test we will perform by turning on Y phase. We will provide the fuse in Y phase and neutral. Now we will turn on the MCB for Y phase and neutral, and we will take the measurements of voltage using a multimeter. Between R phase, Y phase, we will get this, and B phase is one to one. And again, milliamperes. And similar procedure will be done for B phase, right? So this is basically how we perform the magnetizing balance test. Have to check that we have got the results are okay or not. For that, uh, the basic sign is indication is then whenever you give full supply voltage that you will get for R phase it is 247. Again for Y phase you are getting 247 and B phase 247. These are almost equal. And the second thing that you have to consider is they are distributed equally for R phase. If it is 247, then between Y and B phase, the summation of these two should be equal to R phase. That means distribution done is proper. Similarly, when given to for supply is given to Y phase, the distribution between R phase and B phase is also equal. You can see over here. And similarly for B phase, the summation of these two should be equal to this, right? So friends, this is the uh, test. LV magnetizing balance test result, and this is the format in which you can write your data, collect your data, and again the checking points. All these three should be whatever full voltage you are applying should be over here, and distribution should be done equally on other two windings. So uh, I hope now you can perform LV magnetizing test for your transformer. If you have any queries, you can always ask in the comments and keep watching our videos. Thank you.